Hello, traders. Jay Trader here, professional traders on stocks, futures, options, and in the last years, also on cryptocurrencies. So today we're going to analyze how to trade Bitcoin USD, uh, what are the best altcoins out there, the strategy. Remember, we made a video a few weeks ago explaining trading crypto and also Bitcoin for beginners. So go watch it, link over here. Now, this is Trading View. What uh, Bitcoin you should choose because there are so many. So over here, you can see on the right, uh, all these are uh, brokers. So you can use Coinbase, you can use uh, Bitfinex, Binance, Kraken, Gemini, Wanda, and others. Now, if you want to look Bitcoin from the starting, I suggest you to use this Bitcoin all time history index. So let's choose it. So this is the only one that allows you to see Bitcoin from the starting, almost from the starting. This is a weekly chart. We're going to put a weekly chart. So I start always my analysis with this. This is a weekly chart of the last 12 years over here, right? And this is what Bitcoin did. So we move from uh, 0.04 over here. And uh, over here, we are right now to the 47,000 today. So remember that in 2010, for example, the first transaction of Bitcoin was uh, two pizzas. And I don't remember if it was Papa John or whatever, but basically they cost 10,000 Bitcoin, 10,000 Bitcoin. Remember that pizza was pretty expensive. Now, at that time is, it wasn't, but now 10,000 Bitcoins would be. So I use over here, you can see, I didn't put auto, right? Because otherwise you will see your, um, your chart in this way. I just want to use it over here, log, okay, logarithmic. So you can see the whole chart in this way. And this is, uh, I would say, pretty good to see the cycles. So to see, for example, the markup, okay, this is called markup. And then over here, we have uh, an accumulation. And then again, we have a markup. And then again, we have uh, an accumulation. And then again, we have a markup. And then again, over here, we have a long accumulation. This accumulation lasted two years and a half. And then we have another markup. And then if you see over here, traders, look what it looks like. Looks like an accumulation, right? So we have the markup, which basically is the breakout. Is the trend becoming strong? Breakout and the trend running, okay? So we have an uptrend over here. The second one over here is the consolidation, also called accumulation in this case, because you can see that the price starts to unwind and then dips over here, accumulates, accumulates, and then break out again. And we have the uh, second markup, so uptrend. And then again, accumulation over here. So another pullback. And then again, a breakout over here. So markup, uptrend, accumulation again. And then markup again. And then over here, accumulation right now. Okay, so in the last year, uh, we're having another accumulation. So everybody is waiting for the break over here with the 67, 70,000. Now, having said this, what are the main guys that you can have on something like this on, on the Bitcoin weekly? So just go in indicators. Uh, thanks over here, first of all, from Charu. She made some beautiful indicators. So very great member for the room. Remember, we trade cryptocurrency stocks, futures, in small cap room. And uh, I was the one, you can go check. Uh, Mid-November, I posted, don't buy Bitcoin when it was 67. I said to short it. And I said, let's look to buy at around 40. And then I always said not to buy when it was 50, 45, 40. And then I started to buy it when it was 45 right now. And I will explain you why. So I have two main uh, ways to trade it. This I explained in my day trading course on uh, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. Uh, and you can write a team at JTraderCo. Uh, but basically, I work day trading. So I use an hourly chart and a five-minute chart together in combination for buying cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin for intraday. Or I'm using the daily weekly chart when I want to invest. Because I'm a Bitcoiner. I'm a hodl. I want to hold Bitcoin for the long term. But I also am very disciplined to buy Bitcoin at the right time. Now, just look over here at uh, JLines. And you can see over here, JLines Cloud. So click over here, and then we can start putting our indicator. Mm, let's put, for example, uh, 192.10. This is called J lines two, and we'll put the uh, only the weekly in this case. 
So we can take off this and this. And then we're going to put a second J lines. So just go over here. You can do copy and you put paste. And uh, we're going to put uh, other inputs. So we're going to put uh, 7289. In this case, uh, this we don't need. And we can put even another color for this one. For example, we can put uh, the real color of the J lines is gold. All right, yeah, this is similar to gold, something like that, right? And uh, perfect. So right now you have the, the trend over here on the weekly. And you can see that we have two good heights, right? So what are the spots for me to buy? I'll buy this spot over here. So basically the accumulation. Remember before when we started making like our accumulation zone and then over here we had the markup and then we made again the accumulation zone. So this one, right? And then we had the, the markup over here and then we had another accumulation right now. So we were looking at this. I'm looking to buy traders always when the price gets into this zone over here. And now I'm waiting to buy the majority of my uh, I would say of my capital over here. So I started my position at 45 besides trading day trading over here. And we'll show you a few things uh, to you guys, but this is the zones that I want to buy in. Okay. So into the accumulation because I want to hold, I want to invest this for a long term. So Bitcoin will be always less uh, inflation will always be higher. Uh, people want to really uh, refute uh, heaven where to stack the money. And gold is always good, but also there are other forms like real estate. There are like, uh, let's say, funds, or in this case, like Bitcoin. Uh, we have like uh, big names like Michael Saylor's and others that invest in this product. Uh, I personally don't follow others. I just like think with my brain, uh, study the charts, do my analysis, see what happened in the past, and trying to understand what's happening in the future. So these are the three main points that I want to load the boat. Okay, so buying over here, selling the pops, buying over here, selling the pops. I always try to hold the main point, a main core. That's the reason why it's called uh, trading around the core. Now let's go to our early chart. I have a few things over here to show you. And in this case, we have to modify our chart, right? So you can save the chart. You can just put that weekly. And then we're going to modify it over here. Instead of putting weekly, we're going to put over here, for example, daily. Okay, so we're going to have this a daily. And then we're going to put the second over here. Sorry, not only daily, let's also put this at uh, hourly. So the second one. And we're going to put uh, second background. Okay, so we're going to put uh, this. Let's put it, for example, in black. You can color to also black. Okay. And now, of course, we can put even the other J line and we're going to put over here 7289 week it's fine and then we're going to put also the actually not sorry week we're going to put the daily and we're going to put over here the hourly okay so we're going to have uh daily and hourly J lines two which is 190 to 10 daily hourly J lines one which is 7289 so let's go to create over here 729 729 like this over here we're going to put also this for example blue so at a certain point, if you don't want to use, for example, uh, an hourly chart, you can do this on a four hours, okay? Just you have to change your, uh, your bands. Now, look with me. So this is a trend that we had since February. So we started to form over here, bottom, okay? This level over here, remember 33. I was looking for 29 dips, 28, 29 dips, never came till there. And then we had pops into this main level of resistance. Okay, this main level of resistance is 45,000. So we had the range. Okay, price is basically fluctuating over here. And when we are in this zone, okay, I'm not really a type of trader that buys over here support because I know they can crack. Uh, I was looking more to short over here. Uh, you can show with futures, for examples, KuCoin or others have the ability to trade futures. But you can see that we didn't have like any kind of big break out of the trend okay so the trend was this and this we were lateral sidelines now the price 
we focus on the last part of our chart, we saw it here from the mid Mars, so from the 15, we started like to have the cross over here, these two Jalen's, right? So you see the fast Jalen, the blue, so the Jalen's one above the Jalen's two, and both to go above over here, the longer Jalen's, okay? So the daily one. So this is a very good bullish uh, sentiment signal. Now I'm looking, for example, to buy each time these dips over here. So that's what I'm doing over here in day trading. And this is what I'm looking for right now. Now, this is one of the best strategies that I found out that works extremely good on Bitcoin. And we had it also over here uh, back in August. So last year over here, uh, this was September. Okay, first we start over here in August. You can see over here the same trend, the same Jalen is working. And then over here again, you can see the Jalen are crossing. Everything is pushing up. There are a few things that you have to observe, first of all. Uh, look at, we can do this uh, on a daily chart. Okay, because I want to make you understand over here. So look at these uh, J lines, right? This is a daily chart. This gives you the trend. So this is the main accumulation we were talking about before. Then we have the markup. And you can see over here two things, right? You can see that we have J lines one, which is the yellow, right? It's above the J lines two, which is the green. So we have the uh, trend, which is a bullish trend, uptrend. Now, if you look at this price right now, right? What do we have? We have the J lines one. So let's, uh, let's put another one. We have right here J lines one, which is below in this case, J lines two. And is this over here, okay, is this a bullish long term? Not yet. This will be, okay, this. When we have this cross, and then I will be looking to enter on this area. So we need to have these two over here crossing and then a pullback to load the boat and push back up. So we're not still in this phase over here. We're in this phase over here. And still we didn't cross. So that's the reason why I'm not still loading the boat. That's the reason why we still have possibility to go back to 28, but we will see, all right? For now, if you zoom in over here, the trend is up on the hourly, the trend is starting to reverse on the daily, is up on the weekly, but still we don't have this clear over here, um, I would say breakout dip that will give me the timing for entry. We have this main support, second main support, now we have this main resist over here, and then we have this main resist over here. So these are the main supply, supply, demand, demand zones over here. So what we can expect this one is to reach probably the 50, have a pullback. If we have a pullback and the cross eventually like this over here, I'm going to load the boat. Looking at other altcoins, what I'm looking at, okay, because we have so many out here. So uh, just look with me. We'll go and check in Matic because this is one of the ones that I want to uh, focus on so we can put over here this one and I will really look to trade Matic you can see over here the price is very cheap we're talking about 1.7 dollar this is one of the best for me and you can see that we start having on this one a first trend break and the Jalen is starting to curl so we have a possibility to curl over here in the next weeks if Bitcoin will go to 68,000 like before and now we are 47 so that's not even 100 percent over here, we're going to move from 1.6, 1.7 up to 320. So we're talking about something like 100% move, while Bitcoin will go like probably 40, 50%. So Mantic is one of the ones that I will uh, follow. Then we have Link. So we can look, for example, Link always with Binance. Uh, let's say Link USD. Uh, this over here. Yes, this is fine. And this you can see also. It's uh, cheaper, so we're talking about a $17 stock. And when Bitcoin was 68, this was a 52. So even this can have an excursion of more than 100%. So this is possibly what I'm looking for. And then this is the next target. So the only guide for me is Bitcoin in these because you know, for these, because all these will follow and these will be my entry setups. So link will be another one. And then I'm going to look for, I would say, also, uh, let's, see, let's see our list over here. This is all the list that I have. Luna, I will look over here at uh, 
dot, like dot a lot. And uh, this has a huge potential for me. You can see that this move exactly over here in August, like uh, Bitcoin. So we had a dip that I want to load the boat over here. They need to cross these and then I need the dip and then I need a long like this. So while Bitcoin came to 32, 33 and went to 46, now 47, this went from 13 up to 22. So not still a 100% move, but almost. Okay, so this moves much more in terms of percentage versus Bitcoin. This doesn't mean that I have my uh, capital and I want to have like 15% over here, dot 15%, uh, for example, uh, ADA, 15% Ethereum, 15% LINK. No, I will still have my capital probably around 80%, like always I said. Okay, so we're going to do probably something like uh, this. And this all will be Bitcoin. And then the other one will be Ethereum, will be LINK, will be, uh, we said before also DOT. Matic. Also, I want to look traders over here that remember that is a polka dot could be very, very good. And I also want to go for um, Shiba. So this is a great product to trade. It's very, very cheap. It moves good with the Bitcoin. Remember when Bitcoin over here was uh, at uh, um, the dip was around uh, the 40,000 and look this, the excursion that we had. Now, I don't wanna really load a boat on ship, but I will be, uh, will be something that I have on my list because it's super cheap. So I know that this can come up very, very good. Over here, we have the exchange with Tether. And then I'm gonna look for, okay, we have others like Gala. I'm not looking to uh, look over here at Dodge. I'm looking at Ripple, yes, is a super cheap as well. I'm looking at Atom, okay, another good one that we can have. And uh, there are also some small ones that I'm looking at. So Mana USDT, remember Mana? Uh, we are talking about the central land. So buying property uh, in the metaverse, uh, looking to uh, have relation with people online. So this could be interesting again. Uh, remember before we had a top around 570. Now the price is 50% off. So good for me. The other one is Sandbox. We are at the top over here at eight. This is right now is three. So if we will see a big bullish on uh, uh, Bitcoin, this is gonna be one of the ones that I will be uh, looking to, uh, to enter. So I'll also get a position. Uh, Sol over here is another interesting one. The top over here was around 250. So this is uh, just before the, the crack of Bitcoin, okay? So when Bitcoin went up to 67, 68, this went to 260. Right now is 124, so 50% discount over here. Uh, then others could be near. Uh, this one also one. And I'm looking also at a few small ones like Hero over here. Okay, we're talking about Meta Hero, so we're talking about gaming. For this, I think that some of the good information that we see is from Alex Becker. So I, I look at that guy because he has a very good, I would say, knowledge in gaming, which is not my knowledge and I uh, look at his uh, calls, alerts, and then I keep them over here. And I start looking at them when they start like making a good pattern for me to enter long. Okay. So the same pattern that I explained before, or even for day trading, I'm looking for these things. Okay, traders. So this, I think was uh, a great explanation for today. Uh, again, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel, come visit us in our trading room, JTraderCo. And then see you also next time. Thank you. Take care. Use a stop loss and trade cryptocurrencies.